Hey there, welcome to What's In Your Bag Golf, the only channel on YouTube that explores amateur golf equipment. If you love golf equipment and you're especially curious about what amateur golfers are playing, this channel is for you. Today we have our first double video where we have both Andrew and Wes on the same video. I was out there with them at Tomahawk Hills Golf Club in Kansas City and we went through both of their bags. Now if you like having a double video, please let me know in the comments. If you don't, please let me know in the comments as well. I'm, I'm always open and receptive to improving these videos. Now if you stay tuned until the end of the video, I'm going to be doing our first giveaway and I'm also going to be talking about my favorite part of both of their bags. So now let's get to the video. Okay, good morning guys. Uh, we're here with uh, Andrew. Andrew's on the on the left and then Wes is on the right. Today they're gonna be playing Tomahawk Hills in the extreme cold weather. Is that right? Yes, yep. sir. It's gonna be yeah, okay. Well, um, first let's start with you, Andrew. This is our first kind of dual interview, so we'll, we'll kind of go back and forth. Andrew, how long have you been playing golf? How long have you been at this? Um, probably roughly about 10 to 15 years. I used to caddy a lot. Okay. Kind of got into it and then I moved back to Kansas City, played a little bit, yeah. um, and then kind of stopped playing to play softball. Who do you caddy for? Uh, just random random friends of the family. They okay. just asked me. I caddied at Westwood Country Club in St. Louis, because that's where I'm from. And okay. That's where I was born, or raised, so. So St. Louis, born and raised, and then moved out here to Kansas City. Kansas City, here, so. Okay, very cool. And then Wes, what about you? I know you said that you're a new uh, player. As, as far as golfing, uh, Probably midway through this summer is when I really got into it. Okay. Uh, probably in my life I've been golfing maybe 15 times total. Really? Yeah. So this is this is a whole new endeavor. New, new journey. Yeah. Yeah. So what got you to to get into it? I know a lot of people got into it during the pandemic. Uh, was, that, uh, was that part of it or mainly friendships? Yeah. Um, that, that's kind of what I base everything on. So. My yeah. best friend golfs, I golf. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my other buddies golf. Uh -huh. uh, used to play a lot of softball. Mm -hmm. I took up all the weekends. Uh, I got two little ones now, so I needed to find a hobby that kind of cut down on the time away. So yeah, yeah. So golf, golf lets me still enjoy uh, hanging out with my friends, mm -hmm. uh, some cold beers, and still being home uh, halfway through the day with the kids. So, with the kids. Yeah. That's awesome. How, how far have you progressed, would you say, in the six months of really getting into it? Oh, probably not much, if we're okay. being honest. Uh, I mean, I, I, I've gotten better, but I wouldn't say that I'm showing any crazy signs of, of advancing my game. Uh, I mean, I practice chipping in the backyard here and there, but other than that, I mean, it's it's couple times a month kind of is my practice sure uh, my practice is playing so yeah uh, I don't have a ton of free time but anytime I do get yeah uh, it's, it's hard to get away to practice especially yeah kids. and and I, I don't do this to set records or, or mm -hmm. win I do this more so friendships Just hanging out memories yeah that type of thing for well, me. that's very cool well, what we'll do is we'll go back and forth between your guys' bags. So, Andrew, let's start with your the top of your bag. What do you have for a driver? Uh, I have the Mizuno, basically Mizuno STX mm -hmm. 220 driver, the 10 and a half degree loft. With okay. A, it is a Kuro cage, stiff shaft. I'm not sure. I believe it's a, it's a 60 gram. So, that's what I have as my driver, um, with you know the famous Waterbury open. Cover, you know, cool. Happy Gilmore. So yeah, that's awesome. If you need those? BirdieBoss.com. Okay. So with this driver, where did you get it? Did you get it new? Did you get it used? Uh, I got it new. Uh, I got it off of Facebook Marketplace. There was a guy selling one, so mm -hmm. I decided to kind of pull the trigger on it, and it was a little different for me to get it. Yeah. Um, I had a Nike driver, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to get rid of it, mm -hmm. so. I decided to start kind of looking at stuff, so kind of read a bunch of reviews on the Mizuno ones, and there were no bad reviews whatsoever, so I was like, well, the price was right. And Just pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Well, awesome. That's cool. And Wes, what about you? What do you have for your driver? Uh, for my driver, I have the Sim 2. Mm -hmm. 
uh, Max D. I uh, got it off of Facebook, liked the price. Uh, I was playing a driver, uh, I think it was from 2009, so. Mm -hmm. I uh, bought this thinking it would help my game, and I'm not sure I've seen much difference. <laughs> but okay. it looks good, feels looks cool. good. Yeah. Uh, so I just need to hit the range a little more and, and get it figured out a little bit. What were you playing before? Uh, I was a R9 Taylor made. Okay, so, so like a real old one. Real old, real yeah. old. So. Okay. My, anytime he buys something new, I think I gotta buy something new. So. <laughs> just keeping uh, up that's kind of how it. Yeah. Kind of how this half goes. Well, very cool. Well, Andrew, what about your next longest club after driver? Uh, I have the Ping G425. It's a three wood. Okay. Um, I didn't really have a three wood, so this one actually only has a regular shaft, so. They didn't have any of the stiff shafts when I went and purchased it, so. Not on Facebook Marketplace? No, I bought this actually online. Online? So I bought this from Ping. So oh, okay. I read a bunch of reviews about it, went into the actual, went into Golf Galaxy, kind of hit a couple of them with it, liked how it felt, and then just like, well. Yeah, just pulled the trigger. Just bought it. <laughs> how, how long ago was that? Uh, probably a couple months ago. Okay, so, so is it your, the newest club in your bag right uh, now? Yeah, that, actually, yes. That is the newest club in my bag. It's probably my least favorite club in my bag. Oh, no. Because I can't really hit it. Really? It's probably the coolest one. It yeah. looks the coolest. <laughs> so. What did you have in that slot before? You just had nothing? I just didn't have one. I did not have a three wood. I just had a driver and then Irons? straight to a four iron. Wow. So okay. So. Kind of. I figured I'd need something because I'm not really. I tried a hybrid. Didn't really like how it felt. And I was just, you know, just wanted to spend money, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So for you, it uh, looks uh, like you do have an older fairway wood, right? Yep, old three wood, uh, tailor-made burner. Uh, don't know much about it. Shaft, flex. Uh, all of my shafts are a little mismatched. Okay. Uh, I do eventually plan on kind of getting fitted sure. shaft-wise yeah. uh, whenever that time comes. Because I do have a lot of uh, mix and match in here. Mm -hmm. uh, Where'd you get that one? Uh, so the day before I got married, I had a little get together for a wedding party, mm -hmm. uh, and I got these off of Facebook uh, yeah. at the time. Yeah. Uh, it was about two hundred dollars for my bag and and the clubs that I had, some old Cobras, uh, and then I've slowly kind of pieced this together. Uh, also, once a year we do a big tournament where I get my, how many twenty to thirty of my best friends. Months. Okay, and we have wow. a uh, blind draw golf tournament. Wow. So we're trying to grow that. Uh, this is a, we just finished year two, so next year we plan on it being bigger and better. Awesome. Uh, did a draft style. Draft style. Did mm -hmm. a draft style this year, kind of to change things, see yeah. how it went, but it went well, so we'll probably keep doing a little draft style. You guys do it at the same place every year? No, we try to switch we it up. We try to switch it up. Uh, I think this year we're gonna get more into Kansas City. Uh, for it. Uh, we played uh, Excelsior Springs yep. year one, mm -hmm. Lawson year two. Uh, next year we plan on somewhere centrally located for everybody. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm in the middle of the city more. Yeah. Okay. Well, Andrew, getting back to your bag, uh, what irons are you playing? Uh, I have the Nike Vapor, all of them basically. The Vapor Speeds, uh, four iron to the uh, approach wedge. Uh -huh. uh, there's a couple different shafts. I know there's a couple of them have the Fubuki, the regular flex shaft. The other ones have the same shaft that I have on my driver, which is the mm -hmm. stiff one. I'm mm -hmm. gonna eventually upgrade all of them. Yeah. It's just some of the clubs that have the actual regular flex shafts I don't really use. So yes. Yeah. Haven't really put that, you know, put the money into it. I'm like, so. Sure. But yeah, I mean, I have all of them. They're the Vapor Speeds. I like how they feel. Um, the deal, I couldn't pass it up, so it was. Another Facebook yeah. Marketplace deal? Someone is, someone stole my old clubs out of my car. So oh, that sucks. Kind of had to get a whole new set. Oh, man. How long ago was that? Uh, that was a few years ago. A few years ago, that's why I really hadn't played much golf. So mm. That can be kind of devastating when you have you know, hundreds or maybe thousands of dollars of equipment. Just well, I wasn't even really worried about the clubs. The clubs were nice, but I was more worried about my bag. Okay. I had a, you know, fully leather, Callaway, Michelob Ultra. Beer, oh, the, the beer champion. Yeah. And uh, that was probably the worst. Well, that does stink, man. So. Well, sorry to hear that. I'm glad that you got. Oh yeah, I got everything. I mean, like I said, I got a, I got a great deal on all of them. So mm -hmm. I'm not really, not really upset about it. Yeah. You know. Well, Wes, what about your irons? 
Uh, Iron-wise, uh, I, I have the Mizuno JPX uh, 919s. I okay. uh, got them off of Facebook. Mm -hmm. Price was just too good. Yeah, uh, I've heard really good things about all the Mizuno stuff, so I jumped on that. Um, when they say like nothing feels like a Mizuno, is it true? Are they are they pretty? Uh, so they I'm, pretty I'm soft? fairly new uh, mm -hmm. to the whole golf game. They're a lot softer than what you were than what before. I were, was playing with. Yeah. Uh, and they're really nice. I'll probably keep these for, for quite for a, a while. Yeah, yeah, I don't plan on spending any money on the irons. Uh, anytime soon. Okay, yeah, that looks like a pretty slick uh, graphite shaft as well. Yeah, yeah. They all have. Uh, Project X, uh, I think it's regular flex, I guess. I don't Okay. I don't know too much. Yeah, hard to tell if they're graphite or, or steel. And then I, look at them. I'm gonna give a shout out real oh, quick. Oh shoot, yeah, we, we, didn't, uh, we skipped This was hybrid. passed down to me from a buddy, uh, Randy Cook, mm -hmm. uh, a good long time friend of mine. Uh, probably my favorite club in the bag. Really? Yeah, so uh, shout out Randy for he just gave that to gave you? Gave it to me. Is that a four hybrid or a three hybrid? A uh, four hybrid. Okay. So, uh, I enjoy it a lot, don't know why. Uh, I seem to hit it pretty well. Uh, Is that off the tee and off the deck? Uh, just off the deck. Off the uh, deck. Yeah, off you don't the usually tee, use yeah. it off the tee. Probably gonna be the driver, three wood. Okay. And, and some irons at, at times. Yeah. Uh, but this will be one club that I won't ever let go, so. Okay, that gets you out of trouble and gets you on the green. Yeah, and just, just because of who gave it to me as well. Yeah. Uh, I hit it the best and it just means a little more because yeah. it was given to me uh, by, by a friend. friend. Yeah, so. was it just, he didn't have any use of it anymore? Yeah, di like... didn't use it much. And he knows that I just got into golf, so he just passed it down to me and I hit it one time and I fell in love with it, so. Cool, so. awesome. So getting to your wedges, I saw, saw you know, your wedges are really eye-catching. So what, what, are, what are they? They are the Lazarus. Uh, it's 52, 56, and the 60. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of like, they're kind of similar to the Bomb Techs. They, uh, they go on, you know, affordability. Yeah. I can't really know, notice anything. Sure. I've never really hit anything else. Yeah. But, I mean, they feel good, and, I mean, the color's pretty cool. That's one thing why I really liked them yeah. was the color. Because the only other company that I think that does make a similar similar wedge is, is the Bomb Tech ones, which I think Wes has. Yeah, so speaking of, of your wedges, so. Yeah, uh, so I had some Mizuno wedges that kind of came with. The set? With the set. Uh, I'm real weird about all of my stuff kind of matching mm -hmm. in the bag. Mm -hmm. I kind of like to be able to say, hey, there my wedges are. Yeah. Grab that instead of having to look at the numbers, all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, I go 52, 56, 60. Uh, Wedge game, probably the worst part of my my golf game. Uh, so uh, we're working on that. Yeah. So, but uh, is it the wedge or is it the uh, it's the, the person? Okay. Definitely the person. Uh, you know, I, I leading up to probably the last month, I've been looking on marketplace for new wedges, thinking the wedges were the problem. Okay. It ain't. No. Nope. But okay. so uh, you know, when I do hit it well, it feels good. But other than that, I'm just not a very good uh, short game guy. So. Uh -huh. uh, but as far as affordability, uh, you can't beat it. I mean, $150 yeah. when I got into it. Uh, so you bought it, them new? New, yeah, from, brand new. From the website? Yeah, from the website. Uh, great customer service. I mean, they were, they yeah. were. I think I ordered them on a Monday and uh, they were here on a Wednesday. So, yeah. I mean, it was quick, fast. Uh, I think they were like $149 for all, all three of That's them. That's a good deal. Yeah, good deal yeah. for me. Uh, eventually, I'll probably try to get something a little fancier, nicer. Yeah, uh, fit it after you get fitted or something yeah, like that. Yeah, more, more name brand type. Yeah. But and, uh, for, for the golfer I am, they, they do the job. Yeah. So. Andrew, did you also get yours new? Yeah, I bought mine brand new. So same you, thing. Same, I, same except kind of I thing. got mine. Uh, Lazarus did the thing through Amazon Prime. So okay. I got mine in like a day. Okay. I mean, yeah. they, I mean, Prime super, shipping overnight or something prime like that. Prime shipping overnight. Yeah. Ordered them, shipped the ship next day, so. Yeah. I mean, a little shout out though to Cameron Feek. Uh, yeah. Cameron Feek sold me and Wes, our drivers and his irons. Yeah. Wow. So Cameron is a pretty cool guy, I like him. And he's all over Facebook as well, selling stuff, so. Okay. Don't hesitate to, to deal with him. Yeah. Uh, he's in the Platte City area. So. so if you're in the Kansas City, Platte City area. Yeah, he's the guy, for, yeah. You're looking for his clubs. Stuff's, his stuff's nice Cameron and Feek. he always has uh, something always, for sale. Yeah. It's okay. always taken well, good care yeah. of, and yeah. you know, nothing I'm ever wrong with it. Well, maybe we'll have them on the channel. That'd be cool. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Well, let's get to your last club, your putter, because right, I know it's getting close to your tea time here. So My putter is a Odyssey Stroke Lab. 
Okay. And it's a blade butter. Um, only thing, I, only gripe I have about it is I've only had it a couple months and it kind of is starting to wear. Starting to wear. I mean, my plan is to hopefully sand all this down and paint it a different color. Okay. I'm a purple guy, so I may paint it purple. Yeah. Why purple? I don't know, man. It's just, it's just your color. color. Yeah. I like purple. Same thing with my irons. I want to maybe want to do something like refinish them. Like refinish like them. Do something different that no yeah. one ever really does. Because I've seen. A lot of people do different things with them. I've seen red. Yeah. I've seen, you know, lime green, but I've never seen purple. Okay. But, you know. So you'll be the first one. Maybe, maybe I'll be the first one. That's right. So, so your, your putter, uh, did you get that new as well? Or? Yeah, I got that brand. Okay. From where? Uh, I got that on the Dick's website. Okay. Cool. So Wes, to your last club, your putter. Uh, putter wise, for me, I don't really know much about it. Uh, 2XX Black, not sure the brand. Uh, it's got I a actually, nice fat grip on it. Yeah, Drew actually uh, bought his new putter and then I got this one from him. Okay. I was using a putter that was probably older than my great grandpa, so <laughs> what came with the original set. But uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know much about it. Uh, so I Drew, like that it. was your old putter. Yeah. yeah, that was my old putter. I think I got that at Shields. Okay. And just, is your new one a, a definite upgrade or is it? Yes, it is a lot different. Okay. Um, the mallet style putter I felt was a little different for me because mm -hmm. I'm used to I'm a putt putt you know I'm a putt putt champion yeah so yeah they don't have those you gotta get putt -putt those blade course. you gotta get those blade putters <laughs> they they really are yeah. with the weighted stuff on like I guess how they're weighted uh -huh. it's a little different I've never yeah like I said I've never had an expensive putter until sure. that until so the, it kind yeah, of felt, I mean it felt a lot different yeah. but it also felt I mean it felt a lot better yeah you don't really feel the ball mm -hmm. so. yeah it's real soft gotta, gotta let it roll okay so. Getting back to your putter, I know that's, you said that's kind of the, the one, the club that you don't know anything about. You got, do you have any plans on replacing that putter, that'll replacing the, anything? That'll be the first one to that'll go? That'll be the first one to go. Uh, okay. I want to get a blade putter. Okay. I don't know what I want. Just uh, kind of figure it out. Just kind when of you figure go, it out get as fitted. we go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Are you a strong putter? No, I'm not, 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 a, not strong at not anything, anything really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm strong at drinking a couple beers on my round, though. <laughs> uh, okay. It's kind of where I come in clutch with the boys. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I want to get a uh, blade putter. Mallet just seems seems weird through the zone for me. Yeah. Uh, so that will be probably my next. Okay. That and my three wood. I kind of want to upgrade those two, and then I'll probably be set for a while. Okay. So. Well, very cool. And then, Andrew, what about you? I know you said that there's some changes coming to the bag maybe in the um, future. The only change I may end up doing is just getting some different wedges. Okay. Um, instead of carrying all three, just maybe carry a 52 and a 56. Yeah. Because I very rarely use a 60. Okay. So that's the only change I plan on maybe doing. And then maybe just going to get, uh, I guess, properly fitted for the shafts for my irons. Mm -hmm. Just You want to keep the iron heads? I want to keep the iron heads. I like yeah. them. And plus, they don't make the Nike. And they don't make Nike anymore. So, yeah. and if you go look online, they're expensive. They're expensive. Then, they're very hard to find. And then, when people, you know, when you do find them, people want fifteen hundred dollars for a yeah. set of irons, and yeah, I can't justify that. So. Sure, sure. Well, just to wrap it up, do you guys have anything just together? Anything um, in your bag that, like, any any cool trinkets? I know you have a pretty sharp bag, and you you have a have a Nike bag, um, um, so. I guess the cool thing about mine is is that it has an insulated pocket. Okay. For 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 beer and you know for beer and if I want to, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's a cool little thing. I mean, I'm diabetic, so I kind of have to have I have to have my insulin with me at all times. So mm -hmm. having that there actually helps. Yeah. Just throw some ice in it and it keeps my insulin, you know, cold and Yeah. Cuz if it gets hot, it gets bad and that could be really bad. So Yeah. Of that's course. What we don't want. Anything with you, Wes? No. Uh, it's just a nice bag you yeah. got on Facebook market yeah, Marketplace? Well, no, I actually traded. I had a cart bag. Okay. Uh, and I got tired of it not standing up all the time. So oh. I barely touched it. It fell. So I actually traded a buddy. Uh, they were about equal in value. So okay. we just made a quick trade. And I enjoy the 14-way bags. So they don't bang but, against each yeah, other? Yeah, probably yep. never go away. It's just nice being able to grab your club and go. Yeah. Instead of having to search and, and, and doing yeah. all that. So. Mm -hmm. 14 way is definitely the way to go. Uh, that's probably about it as far as my bag. Awesome. Well, thanks guys. Thanks. Thank you both for being on the channel. This is our first uh, dual video. I think it worked really well. Uh, so thank you to you guys and taking the time to come on the channel. And I hope you guys stay warm and shoot low scores today. Absolutely. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks thank for having us. us. Yep.
Hey there, thanks for watching until the end of the video. As promised, I'm gonna chime in with my favorite part of both of their bags. And for both of them, it was the same part of the bag. I loved their wedges. Andrew had really cool Lazarus wedges that were rainbow colored. They looked really awesome in, in person. And Wes had these Bomb Tech wedges. I think they both had super good value. They're both around 150 bucks for all three wedges. And they're both super eye-catching. When you look at the bag themselves, they really both pop out. So as promised, I'm going to be doing our first giveaway for uh, the Christmas season. And I'm gonna be giving away my own set of really unique wedges. Now these wedges were made by Adele. They have full face grooves. And what I really like about them is that the lofts are actually written out. Um, the words 54 are written out. I'll give you a closer shot as you're looking at them here. So you can enter to win these wedges, okay? Now the first qualification is that you do have to live in the United States. Unfortunately, I know for the people who are subscribers in other countries, um, I can't send these wedges internationally. It would probably cost more than these wedges are worth. So if you live in the United States, you have to do three things in order to have a chance of winning these wedges. The first thing that you have to do is you have to be subscribed to my channel. The more subscribers I get, the more content I can make, and the more, the more it shows the YouTube algorithm that people like this kind of stuff. Number two is you have to like the video. So click like, if you, click like if you haven't yet. Number three, you have to comment what kind of wedges you're currently playing. Now, if you've done all those three things, you are eligible to win these Adele wedges. If you live anywhere in the United States, I will send these to you. Uh, if you live in Kansas City, I will meet you somewhere and personally hand them to you. Now, we're gonna run this giveaway all the way until the end of the year. So on January 1st, I'm gonna get on a live stream and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a winner from somebody who has liked this video, uh, who is a subscriber and who has commented what wedges they're playing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for um, taking the time to watch this video and good luck.